I've talked about accounts several times, and now let's look at the actual account settings. Every user on the computer has an account. It has an account name, and it has a password. You may not see this because the default installation of Mac OS X on a new computer does create an account, but it also chooses to have automatic login to that account. So when you turn on the computer, you bypass the screen that asks you which account you want to use and what the password is because automatic login is provided. So you may not see it, but it's there. And to turn off automatic login, of course, is up here in disabling automatic login. So down here in accounts, we have the accounts on this computer. In order to make changes on this screen, I'm going to need to authenticate with a password and now it's unlocked and I can make changes on this screen. I could add a new account if I want to and I'm going to call this uh, test account. The short name will be T account and the password and here I can click to see whether the password is secure or not. The one I typed in is not very secure. I have a lot of information here. It's in the dictionary and it happens to be the word password. But I can ask the password assistant to generate a password for me. Here's one. It's a combination of letters, symbols, and it's something you can remember. And it's secure. So I, that's one way of doing it. I can get a combination of letters and numbers which is harder to remember. Numbers only, you see it gets less and less secure. This is the hardest to remember, but it may be the most secure. And here's another one that's compliant with the federal standard. If you use this, I would use a memorable password because you have a chance of remembering it. And remember, with the installation disk for Mac OS X, you can reset a password. But one way or another, you want a password on this account. And I'm going to now use my old standby password, which is not very secure. And this is not a very good hint, because it tells you what the password is. Many people do use this. If you fail to enter the password correctly three times, you will see this hint. So the better notion here The password is the name of the dog's sister, so that may be the new puppy, uh, and you should know what that is. So this is a standard account called test account with password. An administrator can administer the computer, has more functionality, more ability to control the computer than a standard account. We'll talk about parental controls later on. I can also create, this is new, a group, and a group is the, let's say, the staff. Whoops, it's already in use. So we'll call that my staff. I now have a group and I can assign accounts on the computer to that group. This is a very powerful way of setting access privileges because you can set them to individual accounts or to groups. This functionality was always in Mac OS X server and it's in other Unix-based applications. This is the first time we've had an interface to it in Mac OS X. So in order to create a new account or group, I come down here. I can get rid of this group if I want to. And I'll create, oops, sorry, up here. I'll go back to creating a standard account. I can also create a guest account, which only is allowed to share data. And by default, we have a guest account called guest account. So those are the ways that you can create a, an account. You can allow guests to log in. And let's take a look at some of the other account preferences.